Hi, and welcome to this edition of the Options Learning Center. My name is Rick Orford, and I've been a stock and options trader since 1999. And today, I'm excited to discuss short iron butterflies and how to use bar chart to get the most out of the strategy. The short iron butterfly is a neutral option strategy that requires four options, two of which are at the same strike price on the same underlying asset and with the same expiration date. The strategy works best if you anticipate that the asset will trade with low volatility until expiration. For that reason, you could consider trading a short iron butterfly after a big event, such as earnings or a news release, after the volatility has already been baked into the underlying securities trading price. The maximum profit condition occurs if the asset's price ends at exactly the middle strike price, which is rather unlikely. However, you will make a profit so long as the underlying trades between the break-even points at expiration. To set up the trade, you'll buy one put option, then you'll sell a put and a call at a higher strike, and then buy one call at an even higher strike. All options will have the same underlying asset and expiration date, with the distance between the outer and middle strike prices equal on both sides. The result is a bull put and a bear call, resulting in a net credit. The goal of a short iron butterfly is for the underlying assets price to trade between the break-even points at expiration. If that happens, you'll earn a profit. Maximum profit, however, will occur if all of the options expire worthless, and that'll happen if the underlying asset trades at precisely the middle strike price at expiration. However, as I said, the chances of the underlying ending at exactly in the middle are very low, so that's why traders are often happy even if the underlying trades somewhere around it. The maximum profit on a short iron butterfly is the net credit received. The maximum loss is the difference between the middle strike and either of the outer strike prices minus the net credit. Can you imagine searching through thousands of stocks to find the perfect short iron butterfly trade? Well, that would take a very long time. Luckily, you don't have to. With bar chart screening tools, you can get results in as fast as a second. Let me show you how. The first step is to go to barchart.com if you aren't already there yet. Click Options at the top menu, then look for Short Iron Butterfly. After clicking that, you'll be brought to a results screen. These results are based on a default filter that balance risk and reward. It's a great starting point for most investors. You can rearrange the column headers from highest to lowest or vice versa by clicking on the column headers. Now, as I said, these are already a good set of results that balance risk and reward, but if you would like to adjust the search parameters, you can click Set Filters at the top, which will take you to the option screener page. Here, on the option screener page, type in the desired filter into the Add Filter field and click on Add. If you're unsure what to add, Open the drop-down and select an option. Available filters include stock and options data, such as options analysis, underlying prices, trade details, company earnings, and technicals. Basically, everything you need to refine your trade is right there. For now, I'll remove the ones I just added, as I really don't need them, but I will adjust some of the selections right here. First. I'll click on ETF in the security type so that ETFs will appear in the results. Then, I'll scroll all the way down to probability of loss, which is arguably the most essential filter here, since this predicts the chance of the trade ending at a loss even by one cent. Short iron butterflies typically have around a 50-50 profit potential. So, I'll set that filter to look for trades that have a less than 50% probability of loss for better chances of profit. And then I'll click on See Results. And here we go. But before I explain the trade, 
Let me show you how you can save your screener to reuse it later. Just click Save Screener near the top right, then type in the screener's name. At the bottom, you can also have Bar Chart email you at a specified time with your trades. It's that easy. Now that that's done, let's move on to the trade example. According to the trade, you can create a short iron butterfly spread on the SPY, with the ETF currently trading at $603.91. Here's how the trade works. You buy one $555 strike put, paying $1.41 per share. Then, you sell the $590 strike put, collecting a premium of $4.30 per share. Then, you sell the $590 strike call, collecting a premium of $21.18 per share. And finally, buy the $625 strike call, paying $2.16 per share. This trade setup results in a total net credit of $21.91 per share, or $2,191 total per contract. The maximum loss on the trade is $13.09 per share, and all options expire on January 17th, which, from the time of the screen, is 44 days until expiration. The trade also has a 42.4% probability of loss, with a risk-reward ratio of 0.6 to 1. Now, to quickly figure out if my trade is profitable, I find that it's best to know the break-even points on the upside as well as the downside. To calculate these yourself, subtract the total credit from the short put strike to get the lower break-even price, and add the total credit to the short call strike to get the upper break-even. This gives you break-even points of $568.09 on the lower end and $611.91 on the upper end. Now that we have those details, let's see how the trade could go. If the SPY trades at exactly $590 at expiration, you get the maximum profit on the trade. To calculate the maximum profit, take the premium received and subtract the premium paid. And for this trade, it's $21.91 per share, or $2,191 per contract. But as I said, the chances of that happening are very low. As long as the SPY trades somewhere between the break-even points, you'll make a profit. On the other hand, if the price of the SPY trades beyond the long strikes at expiration, the trade will end at a maximum loss. To calculate the maximum loss, take the width of the spread, or the difference between the middle strike and either of the outer strikes, then subtract the credit received at the start of the trade. Here's a profit and loss chart to show different prices at expiration and give you a better idea of how the trade would work. As you can see, the trade will result in maximum profit if the SPY trades at exactly $590 at expiration. This is the middle strike. But don't forget that there's a profit range between the break-even prices. And of course, losses begin beyond the break-even points, with the maximum losses happening if the ETF trades beyond either of the long strikes. So that's screening the entire market for short iron butterfly trades. But what about if you have a specific stock or ETF in mind? Well, that's also easy and I can show you how. First, go to barchart.com, then search for the asset using the search bar. For example, I can type in ABV right here. Once on the stock's profile page, navigate to the left and look for butterfly spreads. Then. Click the short iron fly tab, and you'll see the trade search results. You can click on the drop down to change the expiration dates, change the trade legs, rearrange each column, or click the screen button and then set filter tab to access the options screener page for a more granular search. It's really that easy. It's always a good idea to close your positions right before expiration when using any strategy that requires writing or selling options. For example, you have two short positions in this trade, and if either is in the money by expiration, the option will be automatically exercised, or in your perspective, you'll be assigned. If any of the short options do get assigned, 
You're either obligated to buy 100 shares of the underlying for every put that you wrote, or you'll need to sell 100 shares for every call that you sold. If the options are in the money, these positions may require significant capital for the assignment. So you may want to set an alert, for example, if the stock goes above or below a certain price and then send you an email. You can also sell the relevant long positions to capture any remaining value, which may mitigate some of the losses. But keep an eye out for the trading fees, because if they exceed the options premium, well, it won't be worth it. Like many option spreads, the short iron butterfly has a defined risk and reward profile. So you know what the potential profits and losses are up front. The trade also has the advantage of benefiting from time decay. It works well during times when the market is neutral. That said, the short iron butterfly has limited profit potential and is very vulnerable to volatility. Its multiple trade legs also require complex management, and achieving maximum profit can be very difficult. It's rare to find trades with more than a 50% probability of profit. But again, the goal isn't necessarily to achieve maximum profit, rather it's to create a profit no matter how little. The short iron butterfly is best used when you expect the asset to trade within a specific range at expiration. This is best used after large events that lead to low volatility or generally neutral trading conditions. To maximize your chances of profiting, you should use every resource at your disposal, like option screeners and trading guides just like these. If you need more information, visit the Options Learning Center, where you can find more about short iron butterflies and also find other information about options trading strategies broken down into their working parts.